When you think about word processing software, such as Microsoft Word, what probably enters your mind is typing. Not necessarily just putting your fingers to the keyboard, but producing a printed page that contains words. And yet, Word is so much more powerful than that, providing all sorts of advanced features for formatting our text, for inserting images, for reviewing our documents and getting feedback from others, and many other great features that can really help you produce great documents. If you're anything like me, sometimes looking at a blank sheet of paper can be a little bit intimidating, and so you're eager to get started. But when you first launch Word, things might look a little bit intimidating. There are lots of controls available, but actually those controls are laid out in a way that is relatively straightforward, and once you're familiar, is actually easy to navigate through. Let's take a look at the overall interface for Word so you'll know where to find the things you need when you need them. Obviously, the page you're working on, the document itself, takes up most of the available space. At the moment, that's just a blank sheet of paper, but it can soon be filled with all sorts of words and images. But the point is that most of the space available is used to present the document you're working on, and I think that's a great thing. But there are also other controls that you'll need to gain access to. Most of those are found up on the ribbon. Directly above the document area, you'll find the ribbon, and the ribbon is divided into multiple tabs. Those tabs are generally organized based on particular tasks. In other words, the controls on each tab are grouped together based on a particular type of work you might perform. The Review tab, for example, contains a variety of options that you'll use when proofreading and otherwise reviewing your document. On each of those tabs, you'll find that the controls are divided into sections. So here, for example, we have the Proofing section, the Comment section, and the Tracking section, among others. Generally, while you're working, you'll probably utilize the Home tab the most because that contains the most commonly used features within Word, but of course you'll navigate among the various other tabs as you need to access different features. Above the ribbon, you'll find a button that gives us access to a variety of commands, as well as the Quick Toolbar, which provides access to some of the most commonly used commands, such as saving a document, and you can actually customize that Quick Toolbar as well. Taking a look down toward the bottom of the display, you'll find that we have a status bar. We can see, for example, which page we're on, as well as the total number of pages in the current document, how many words are in the current document. We have some view settings over on the right, as well as a zoom setting, so we can zoom in or out on our document. Over on the far right, you'll find the scroll bar that allows you to scroll through your document, and you can also navigate page by page. In this case, I only have one page so far, but I could go page up or page down to navigate among the document. At the top right, you'll find the standard controls for a Windows application. These include options to close Word, or at least the current document, to maximize or restore down the window, and to minimize the window. It's also worth noting that there's a help button up at the top right, so if you ever have questions, you can click on that icon and access the help file so that you can search for how to use a particular feature, for example. So as you can see, the overall layout for Microsoft Word is relatively straightforward. Most of the available space is consumed by your document, which makes perfect sense since that's where you're probably focusing most of your attention. And then of course we have the ribbon that is organized in such a way that you'll usually find that for a given task you're working with just one or two of the tabs on that ribbon. By taking just a few moments to get familiar with the overall organization of the Word interface, you'll be able to work much more efficiently as you get started creating great documents.